There we go. Oh, hello everyone, welcome aboard. So I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... This is Mike Lindrick here at your service. And yes, I'm aware I've been wearing this helmet for a while now. <laughs> yeah, I... he just likes it. <laughs> yeah, I like it and I haven't felt bothered by asking us to change it. Uh, yeah, welcome to... Well, welcome back to Dave the Diver, which we've put aside for a while. And yeah, just the fact that this is stream number 26 of this game also probably tells a good bit about it. And yeah, recently a new uh, DLC slash content uh, patch got added, which well was visible earlier, but I accidentally clicked it away as I was uh, just fixing stuff in the background. But yeah, Godzilla is now supposedly loose in the blue hole. So... Uh... <laughs> That's what we're going to be looking for today. Oop. Uh, hello. This is from Dredge. Or is it? Okay, I did not expect something to immediately happen. I thought, I thought we'd at least have to go through another day or something. Dave, I think there was a strong earthquake last night. Did you feel it? <laughs> yeah, the loud noise made me jump out of bed. But I just had some snacks and went back to sleep. <laughs> the earthquake last night felt different than usual. It was like something huge fell. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we are just immediately jumping in with this, huh? Uh, who are you? Did you hear a huge crashing sound in this area by any chance? Well, we did hear a loud noise last night. Mm. Then that must be it. Let me introduce myself first. Mm. I am Miki of the G-Force, the military branch of the UNGCC. It stands for the United Nations Godzilla Countermeasure Center. Mm. Yep. Godzilla? <sighs> yeah, it's a giant kaiju. But it recently disp yeah, disappeared after fighting another kaiju near Fukuoka. Mm. I think I saw that on the news. I thought it was some kind of movie at first. Mm. Godzilla was wounded. We tracked down its brain waves and it, they led us here. Mm. Did you tell us more about this place? <laughs> it's the giant blue hole, a mysterious place where all kinds of fish from across the world gather. <laughs> <sighs> hmm, mysterious, you say. It explains the, 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 the gigantic creatures I saw. Mm. And there's a chance that Godzilla came here to heal its wounds. I searched a bit under the sea, but I couldn't find my way around it. It's like the environment kept, you know, keeps changing. Mm. Well, that's just how this place is. Mm -hmm. Ah, you there with the diving suit. Mm. Could you let, uh, could you please lend me some help? Mm. Don't we haven't had any explanation as to why just everything keeps changing below water, below the surface here? And I get the feeling we probably never will. Huh? Me? Mm. Yes, you seem to know a lot about the geography of this region. Mm. We must find Godzilla's hideout. <laughs> hmm, I'm not sure if something that big could hide somewhere here. <sighs> I can look at Godzilla by its brainwaves, but since you probably can't... Mm. Here, I'll give you this. Okay, a, mm. a radar? It's a Godzilla radar made by the G-Force. Its signal will get stronger the closer you are to Godzilla. <laughs> Dave, if what that military lady just said is true... <laughs> Godzilla may soon recover and destroy everything around here. We should track it right away and tell them, yeah, tell them its location. Yeah, it'd be kind of bad for business if the entire place got turned into a nuclear wasteland. Yeah. You're right. I'll try following this radar signal. And off she goes. In her very 80s, 90s sub. Um... Ill. That's more of a high-tech sub of what we have today. True, but it just reminds me of like the 80s and 90s style. <laughs> if a uh, more well, less uh, silly than some. Okay, it has been a while, so let's do a little check. Let's see. We can dash. Go to tube worm tunnels. Hmm. I, I think we might just, put this thing away. Go with it. I guess the reason maybe this means something look the same is because we have had that sign for a while. They have, they look better better each generation, but they still look extremely similar to each other. So this is more yeah. of a... 
the base design is good. Just more and more better reinforcement uh, and such, but I cannot change too much with it without losing uh, the benefit of the design. Yeah. The segment... Okay, yeah. He has nothing new to say. Okay. Well, let's go, uh... <laughs> Let's go hunt down the biggest thing we'll ever hunt. I, I'm still surprised Dave the Diver got allowed to have a Godzilla crossover. Yeah. And from the old design we saw there, I'm gonna guess it, it was uh, allowed by Toho? Probably. So again, I guess Universal and Legendary will not have anything to say since who is the one that is in charge of the IP. It's... I maybe should have swapped for something a bit more combat ready than a, a net gun, but still. Oh, there's okay. a blip oh, on the radar. I realized, yeah, it must be definitely from two side and probably from two cannons. Or multiverses, whatever you call it, sense. The two shots. The ones handling Godzilla in the... The one made by the le legendary, or was it Lion Gate? I forgot which one. Their unit is called Monarch. Okay. This one was not Monarch, so I'm gonna guess this is one of the more two host own groups. Could be. I didn't check too much on the DLC, other than well, it, its existence. Uh, apparently, you can only download it for. Not really, you can claim it for a certain amount of time before it becomes unavailable, which is just an odd decision if you ask me. Or maybe, maybe they can only get the license on a temporary basis or something. But okay, still, so that's, that's why we are playing it uh, today. Then I guess. Yeah, uh, once you've claimed it, you can download and play it uh, at any other time. It's just uh, a bit of an oddity why they would do that. But now that I think about it. Them only being able to have the license temporarily would probably be the uh, reasoning. Yeah, but also makes you wonder why. Let me grab this. Even bother with it then. And because it's. This can still be uh, quite fun. Oh, but definitely. yeah, maybe they can get it back. Maybe they can get access to the license again some other time or something. It's. Damn it. I wanted to disassemble the club, but I forgot we can't disassemble melee weapons. So that's an oxygen canister wasted, but oh well. Hmm. No, it, this one does seem to have a bit... Maybe more story to it than the last one? Yeah, the... One thing I did see is that there's at least three new missions with this. And I think it also said something about new fish or something. It's a little bit new. They didn't add any new fish. Like hmm. the dress crochet was fun and all, but it was not really, at least not from what we were aware of. Much going on, though. Maybe. Since it's, I like to, I'm gonna guess that Dredge DLC is still activated. Yeah. We may get proven wrong. That is wrong. just permanent, and so that can, that could show up uh, in the middle of this, perhaps. Yeah, and maybe get ruined. I mean, there is more story to it than we expected. Could be. For again, the, the story scheme is not really fast pace. Yeah. Even though it has sometimes felt like we had a deadline, uh, uh, had actual deadlines, but still, you mean know what I mean? Yeah, they're typically very loose timeline, not timelines, deadlines, where we could get what we needed, well, ahead of time. Yeah, so I think deadline was more of the side quest than the main stories. Yes. That was more with the main st uh, stories with the guests and such that would show up oh, right. after a certain amount of time. With side really? quests, I don't think there have been time limits. Also, I probably should have actually checked on our daily stuff, like the farm and such. Oh, well, a little late now. 
Well, it's still the morning, so you pr can uh, probably do it once you get up. Yeah, once this first dive is over. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I, I probably should have assumed that Godzilla would not be hiding out in the shallows, but this is going down a good distance now. Yeah. But yeah, I saw a big bit of that uh, Godzilla, and uh, that's the older Godzilla design from the Toho the themselves, so i gonna guess it's within one of the Toho cannons. Could be. Like, there's been so much just absolutely silly stuff that Godzilla has gone through and experienced that to try and list it would read like a, a drug trip or something, probably. Yeah, but it's still organized uh, well enough for people to know which canon is which. Which one is the more kiddie kiddie and the one uh, that are, uh, most people enjoy it more, that uh, is a, a little bit more serious. Hmm. Little seahorse that I missed there. Or uh, at least somewhat more serious. Yeah. I guess you could say. I think we need to be more to the right to be able to go down. So let's head that way. <coughs> Pardon. Yeah, the, the original plan was to do Minecraft today, but we've already done that a good few. <laughs> Hello, anime fan. Thank you for the aid. <laughs> uh, Welcome. <laughs> okay, give me a moment to pause here. Uh, Hello there, thank you for the raid. Uh, what were you playing and how are you doing today? Let me give you a shout out. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Copy name. And there, so, ta -ta -ta. let's see. You were playing, let's see, Grandia. Grandia, Grandia. I know that name, but I'm blanking on what it is. It, it's either a top down shooter or a side scroller, one of those old school ones or something. Uh, let's see, playing Grandia, cute PlayStation 1 R oh, RPG, okay, I was thinking of something completely different then. When you play as a kid who loves adventures, so basically every <laughs> every standard RPG ever. Cool combat system, okay, I have to take a look at I, that. I may have heard of it by word, but not in uh, detail. Okay, I'm I, I take a heard quick note to look at it. Someone talk about the invention. Mm-hmm. Grandia RPG. I'll look that up later. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's super cliche and super cute. It's low stakes, so super chill to play. All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you again for the raid and for the raiders who came along. Hello, I'm Hillian. Uh, over here we have my co-host, Drakir. And we typically stream a variety of games, but mostly for the story. Though, occasionally we do pick up a game for just shenaniganery, like Minecraft and such. And yep. yeah, today we're playing Dave the Diver, which recently had a uh, yeah, Godzilla added by DLC. <laughs> which I'm still surprised about. Oh yeah, yep. welcome everyone. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Hope you all have a good time. And yeah, let's try not to get swallowed whole. Okay, though honestly, Dave would be more like <laughs> we would be more like the size of a tooth filling to Godzilla. But yeah, we're currently tracking him down or trying to look for him with that radar up top. And I just need to find a way down further from here. But we've already been here. Yeah, did I it's overlook? Right. Oh, I overlooked here. I just remember we did say we were to. Wait for David Davy until about at least two DLCs was out? Mm, not sure on but that. It has I been think, months I think since that we played, the so. Potential ideas. Yeah. Uh, but as says this one has actually more story missions. I'm probably not okay with this, or at least it means we are doing something. Yeah, the Dredge DLC was nice and all, but it didn't really have much story, or at least it didn't seem to have. Plus, it is rather rare to show up. Whereas, well, with this yeah. one, we immediately got kicked into it. I was expecting to have to wait at least some bits before we yeah. could, but... 
the, I guess in this case we have a, no a better chance to see if there is more story to the Dredge DLC and of course with Godzilla so in the technical we are all doing two DLCs once? Technically, but yeah. Uh, let's see, anime fan, and I use super too much. Maybe a bit too much, yeah. <laughs> but I, I hope your stream went well for the most part. It certainly sounds like it. Uh -oh. uh, app, freaking bomber <laughs> jellyfish. Okay. Uh, okay, we are getting closer to where the radar is pointing us to. Like, honestly, I think Dave is, for the most part, going to regret finding him. Then again, we can't have Godzilla go on a rampage and just nuke the entire region. We kind of live and work here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think this might work a bit. That, that, that has to be new. Yeah, we have found mines like this before. Uh, just what exactly what sort is this? Uh, can I even... S uh, let's... Is this new here? I don't know if this was down here before. I think the, yeah, the special customer stuff was there. Hmm. We are getting close. He's right across from the Sea People village, it seems. At least he's not down in the glacial zone. Hold me, who? Go ahead. There was a hold me, who? But the the other DCs we will have, if they be all making other DCs for the other driver, will be more story yeah. for the region. Hmm. Yeah, I'm but, curious about more stuff in the area and such. Yeah. We still have a, basically a terrorist organization that's hanging around the area, and other bandits as well. Hmm. Seems to be around here. Huh. I can sense a strong, sig a strong signal from inside that cave. I bet it's over there. Mm. Hmm. The entrance collapsed. Maybe. It'd be hard to play the game if the game gets unselected. I, ca I cannot figure out what the hell causes that. It's been happening more recently. <clears throat> the entrance collapsed. It'll be hard to enter the cave. Mm -hmm. Could you check if there's anything we could use nearby? Are we going to just use explosives again? If, <laughs> as one of the stupid little star gazers just bites in Dave's ass mid, <laughs> mid cinematic. Or cuts in it. Huh? Is another mine that fell from John Watson's suit? Okay. Maybe you should throw that into the collapsed door. Okay, nice little callback. Okay. Uh, oh, it gets... Okay, it swaps out for our knife. Okay. Nice little thinking that it, that it doesn't change our weapon or any of our other equipment. In the meantime, this little sea angel here is just going, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell, what the hell? There we go. Great, the door is open. Now, could you enter that cave? What, you want me to go in there? Yeah, it's hard to explain, but again, yeah, I can't go in there myself. <coughs> What's made my throat today? So please, do me this favor. Godzilla. Isn't that thing super huge? It's too dangerous. I believe Godzilla is just resting at the moment. Please you know, check the situation inside the cave. Please. If you say so. Link? I think she's one of those that has psychic link with one of the Godzillas. At least a young one that grew up. Yeah, there's been multiple of that. The interior of the abandoned cave looks a bit different. Okay. Yeah, this is the old prison. Okay. Godzilla really bars in here? Well, the fact that the place is called Godzilla's Hideout is a bit of a spoiler, I guess. Hmm. A yeah, nice little 
<laughs> nice little thing that they reuse, managed to reuse an area without, so they don't need to put the new one in. <laughs> Whoa, it really is here. Look at its size. How did it even get in here? Forcibly. No, oh, you just... Okay, was how... I was expecting to have it to flee, but no. Whoa, that roar. It's unbelievable. So it's here, just as I thought. It seems much weaker. But how did you know it was here? I have a special power that can detect Godzilla's brainwaves. Although it was difficult to track it down, as it's far away uh, from where it was last seen. Mm. It seems to be healing by using the special power of this blue hole. Mm. Help me set up a surveillance camera so we can observe Godzilla's movements. Mm. It could surely, uh, it could suddenly go berserk, so the G-Force will monitor it. Okay. It... Okay. Yeah. There's definitely Godzilla Junior. Great, I can see clearly. Hmm. That'll be enough for now. Go back to the boat. Okay. Uh, that's it. For people who have seen all the old Godzilla movies, says I definitely sadly haven't. But I have seen some reviews. You probably know which Godzilla this specifically is. I feel like I should not spoil too much for anyone who plans to watch all all of them. Yeah, you did say junior. Yeah. <clears throat> but I'm not gonna go too much in depth on that. Yeah. There's been multiple Godzillas across multiple timelines and even, well, <laughs> offspring, as is clear. Yeah, but, but that yeah, design is up. definitely. Oh, sorry, go on. Yeah, let's, let's head back up to the surface. Yeah, but yeah. I will say that one is definitely from the. I forgot which era it is. I don't know if it's one of the eras where they have a very good uh, costume design. Okay. That actually reminds me, there's, a, there's been a new. Uh, what's the word for it again? Not ARG, but. Um, some, it's something that's been rather new with online horror stories and such. I've absolutely blanking on the name, but it's basically where like videos get uploaded and such and the people needing to figure out like uh, What the hell is going on with it and such? It's analog. Lore, yeah, analog horror, analog horror. There's been a new one recently or Maybe not the as recently. I don't keep much of a an ear out for those things because horror is not really my thing But there has been one recently about the an alternate universe where, well, the Godzilla costumes, something's wrong with them. With when people, well, when someone puts it on, and basically becomes fused into it and goes absolutely mad. Oh, I think I, I think I seen that recommended. I think that came out last year or early this year. Yeah. Usually, when I say like recently, I typically mean like a year or two, <laughs> up and down max. Okay, let's go get our crops, yeah. and we can plant some new ones. Again, I <laughs> it would be hard to get me to eat something called bladder rack because it just it just sounds like if you eat that when it's prepared wrong, you will absolutely shit yourself half to death. <laughs> Uh, no, if it's, it's bladder, then oh. Yeah, but still, it would be. Um, it sounds like it could be a very unpleasant time. Yeah, just not through the backside. Yeah. Either way, mission is done. So up to the boat. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Is that so so like it, it could be something that's worse than kidney stone? Yep. Hello again, Nikki. Uh, 
I like that the top bar part shifts back a bit for the for the cockpit to open. It seems Godzilla was heavily wounded and is currently recovering. We shouldn't interfere with it for now. Yeah, pestering it now would only piss it off more. And well, cornered rat bites the cat and all that. Though this is a very, very, very big rat. The nuclear rat at that. You could almost say it's a giant cancer mouse. We'll continue to monitor it and monitor it with the surveillance camera. And yes, that was a CV11 reference. Painfully obvious. <laughs> okay. Not too much gotten. I'm going to presume that it's going to take a day or something before we can get uh, the next mission. Okay, let's head to the farm. Yeah, if I'm right, we have two dives. Then we can have a third, but at cost of uh, half the evening. Yeah, or a third of the evening. Okay. Let's see, have an arrow seeds. Okay. Okay, I'm going to need to stock these up, because we're running low on seeds. Let's see. Hmm. Don't know what we might be a bit short on with these. Actually, we can look here. 48. Uh, 52. So, <clears throat> pepper and cherry tomato. Okay. Let's let's buy a good amount of these. We have more than it. Uh, ta -ta, cherry tomato there and the wheat. Okay, all of this is going well. Anything with you, Sammy? Let's see. Current contracts. Until the 6th of December. Let's extend that, yeah? Okay. I, I do like all the quality of life stuff they've been adding in afterwards. What the heck is... Hmm? I must smell something. Oh! But... No, no, I'm smelling it. <laughs> uh... You know the air can smell a bit when a thunderstorm is very close by? Yeah, I'm guessing it got close. Yeah, it's finally getting over where I am now. It seems it's moving very slowly. <laughs> and it has that special thunder scent, if that makes sense. Yeah, that ozone is getting discharged into the... The atmo into the lower atmosphere or something like that. Yeah. Is that heard? I think I heard that only few people can... It's not a common thing for people to smell or something? Not too sure. Okay. It's, it's not like so it's everything or anything, but just uh, not super common either. Okay. Would still like it if we could change the leaf all but X amounts. The leaf, well, two breeding pairs instead of only one, but oh well. Here we go. Oh, hello. Okay, zebra shark, humboldt squids, <coughs> devil scorpion, long spines, wait, squirrel fish? Okay, and these are all of the... yeah, that's the night tank. Let's see. Oh, there was I think we have... I... yeah, we have breeding pairs with almost everything else, except for the glacial zone. There's a shark there that we don't have a breeding pair of. Mm -hmm. And we still had... Hmm. I, I could suspect that the D have plans for two other DLCs for those two. 
Uh, I, I guess. Uh, let's see, I, how's the brands doing? Part of me when I guess that the, the DLC have been having the crossovers are uh, totally little fun to make sure they can pay everyone. But also, while well, they also work on proper story DLCs and probably writing them still. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I got a bunch of eggs. They are out of tomatoes. Let's see. Hmm. Get okay. okay, yeah, we need. <coughs> We need to send some stuff over. Uh, let's see. No, not here. There. Uh, let's see. Habanero, lobster. Let's not sell. Deliver. Okay. Yeah, we need to bring a bunch of that over here. Okay, now which is the lobster for that? It would be nice if we could sort by these uh, menu, by the dishes as well. That way we would know which ones exactly to bring over. Uh, let's see. We need, let's see. Uh, price. Lobsters, lobsters, or rank, quality, quantity. Let's go for that. Okay, they've got a bunch of these. Any of these the lobsters that they need? Uh, here they are. Just Norway lobster. Okay, and we have plenty of those are in, at the main location. So let's send those over. Okay, that should keep this place. <clears throat> that should keep this place uh, stocked up for a while. Uh, let's let's actually go to the main location for a bit. See how people here are. Uh, let's see, staff. And yeah, I haven't been sending people out to get uh, ingredients. Hmm. Let's see. Let's, let's, uh, dispatch. Let's see. What are we short on? Shortest on miso. Okay. Send everyone for that. There. Okay. And yeah, we still need, we still need to get enough or a tasty enough recipe or dish to get the last rank of Cookstra. Uh, get Cookstra here. <laughs> I had a lobster feast. Everyone's ready. <laughs> uh, yeah, best taste, three seventy-five. Uh, something new at the mini games. That one, we haven't tried that one at any point. Uh, let's see. What is the menu? Also, something I found out by watching other people play this game is that something we probably should have done way, way earlier is that you can, uh, uh, let's see. This is our best selling one, I believe. Yes, and let's put that on. We can put this on so that it, if it if they run out of prepared uh, if, if prepared ingredients, then they will uh, automatically refill them or use up more. So yeah, auto supply. Now, what is our best tasting thing at the moment? It's actually oh. a, a treasure shark. Okay, that can be upgraded once more. To be enough, but well, we'll need more <laughs> thresher shark meat for that. A lot more. Um, Marlin would fall short. I think this one could get enough if we, well, get enough to enhance it again.
<laughs> Just the fish having an existential crisis. Okay, if we get enough hammerhead meat, that will be enough. Okay. Let's see. That won't be. Stir fry the turn. Let's see. 20 for each upgrade. Uh, that would not get enough, I think. Hmm. Let's see. Anything under the research here that has high amount of taste? 151. Pelican eel jelly. Okay. 180. That's okay. What is this? Steamed uh, yellow Nima anglerfish. Anglerfish oval steamed with soy sauce. The anglerfish's liver melts in your mouth with a buttery texture. Okay, we have enough flames. So let's get it. Okay. And then we can just pick something else. There. Okay. Now, how far can we upgrade our newest dish? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's that thing that we harvested earlier. Okay. And Atlantic anglerfish. Hmm. Okay. That means that we'll have to get as much soy sauce as we can. As much as whatever, however you say that. And Atlantic anglerfish. Okay, the limestone Yellow cave. Lima. That's going to be a bit of a problem. I think that's how you see it. But some pronunciation of that is to be guest success. Okay, there we go. Feed the little one. <laughs> don't know. Still don't know if we get anything out of that, but well, it's cute. Yeah, damn adorable. Let's get it the time. Anything in your shop? <coughs> okay, let's take that. And we may as well. These things are dirt cheap. Now let's hope that we can get, uh, or that we can find the limestone cave. Still a little bit disappointed that there aren't more like random biomes like that that can pop up, but maybe with DLC and patches more can be added. Yeah, First like, off, upgrades. In a weird way, I thought we would have seen uh, much more variations, but yeah, not much really. Yeah, the, the limestone cave is the only biome that has a chance of appearing. There's nothing like that down lower. There's a, a bit of a missed opportunity, I'd say. Yeah, it is. This area here sometimes have a different layout, but it's only like two variation or something like that. Yeah, not just two, it's, but. It is a bit small in the amount of variation that can appear. Yeah, I guess they didn't want to do something like a randomizer, which could, uh, let's be honest, randomly generated layouts can be fun, but it can also be catastrophic. Yeah. Shoot. I want the big guy in this thing. Are they actively trying to dodge the treasure? <laughs> God damn it, it's too big for that. Okay. Yeah, we did run a test with that at some point, I think. Of uh, what is and isn't big, too big for the nets and such. And well, we have our answer reconfirmed with the treasure. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I think you can use a uh, drone or something to pick it up. 
Yeah. As it's clear, I am very much out of uh, practice with this game. It <laughs> doesn't help that these little jack ow jackasses are screwing around. Normally, you don't get tag team by three different fish. There we like go. That. Okay. All in this thing. I'm going to grab this, the olive oil. Okay. Now let's see. At what depths were the limestone caves again? Let's the see. Should specifically say with some of these whether they in the limestone cave or not. Shipwreck interior. Shipwreck interior. Limestone cave. Okay, so... Uh, ta -ta -ta. Medium depth, which is about where we are at. Also, lucky find. There we go. Are you gonna need that? Okay, now we just need Ooh. to find the limestone caves. I guess we found some wood for a campfire. Underwater. And don't knock it till you try. Do <laughs> <clears throat> hammerhead. Look, I feel like I heard a bad cartoon or something like the uh, hammerheads chases a uh, uh, nailfish or something. Yeah, it's a joke that probably has been made like a million times. Yeah. There we go. Okay. No, I'm not interested in you. Or that one. Okay. Smooth hammerhead. I'm not sure if it was called that specifically before, but I've never really paid too much attention to those pop-ups. At least not since early on in the game. Are you sure? So can I get both of these? Yep. Mm, yeah, let's send this one in. I'm not expecting to catch anything else big. Or at least not alive. Um, don't forget the hot. The man has soy in it. We're more likely to get more from oop, <clears throat> from dispatching our people, but yeah, every little bit can help. Yeah, and they don't wait too much uh, to begin with, I think. True. So it's just a bit silly to just ignore them. Uh, go through, go through something into the machine. Okay. So be ready and don't get eaten. Uh, let's pour one of these in here. <laughs> okay, blue hole depths, that's too low, I think. <laughs> okay, seriously, what is it my mice throw today? <clears throat> Dodge that. Actually, yeah, I, th I think we might be in the let the not the let the limestone caves here, even though it does didn't get announced. Because I think we only find iron ore in the limestone caves, but I might be completely wrong on that. Plus, this is a rather small place. That. Let's see. I don't want to go too far away from the trap. Yep, it's done. Okay. This is 
noticeably faster than without that trinket that gives us <laughs> extra swing speed. Nice little haul. Okay. Anything of use in here? Mm, not too useful, but I'll take it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go down here and see if we can find another entrance to the medium depths. There, there, there. Just going to grab these whenever I get the chance. They just weigh practically nothing. Um, I'll swap the sensor bombs out for that. Come on, grab them. There. <clears throat> uh, let's see. What are these again? They're not angler fish. Yeah, fang tooths, yeah. Not what we want, but close. Is anything of interest in here? Okay, one of those, but we're not going down. So there's no need for that. We are looking for another way up. And this looks like it may be. Yeah, it is. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Not interested in any of those. Rifle, no need of that. Hmm. We probably should do at least one night dive soonish. To, well, because I think in the night time we are missing the most fish from well not having breeding pairs of them. Big fish. Let's see. I'm not interested in the tiger shark. And yeah, it looks like we didn't really get the uh, didn't really get the hmm, that limestone caves. Why was I blanking on that? The spawn. Yep, I'm back. Welcome back. Okay, let's just go catch a bunch of fish then and then we'll go back up okay. <clears throat> there not that that yep. Yep. did I did I swap to the net gun and back again from it there okay Let's just catch what we can find nearby here. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Almost thought I had the both of them there, but no, just a little bit too far. Very teaspoon. Let's see. Can I drive some fish together to make an easier catch out of them? more driving them apart. Oop. Although, there we go. Two for one. Okay, the crab trap is done. You got a poison sack. There. Okay, all sorts of small stuff down here. Let's grab that. Let's grab the crabs, and then we can head out. Tropical rob, no, rob rock lobster is not a rob lobster. Volunteer. Okay, let's head up, and we can maybe do a night dive. The restaurant is well equipped enough to run itself.
All right. Mm -hmm. Let's keep those two. Need to bring them to the casino still. Okay. Thresher Shark Row. Okay. Trevally Row. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Wrap up your day. Okay. Something new at the phone? Uh, oh, Marinka. We've upgraded one of the cards, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, Tropical Rock Lobster. There's still one of these that we haven't discovered yet. Divine Tree Control Room. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's only a missing chop scene. <laughs> There's still a few seahorses that we haven't found. Hydrothermal Vents, Limestone Cave. Makes sense why we haven't seen that one then. And just a standard one at the depths. Okay. Some fish that could Ooh. still get upgraded at the hydrothermal. Alright, so. Okay, see what's going on. We have found the Bosch version of the one of the prehistoric ones we've seen. It's not the regular one. Yeah. Okay, 100% collected in all of these, but not all 100% three starred. Okay. Let's head on over. Run the nights. <clears throat> and I'm presuming we'll get more Godzilla tomorrow. Let's see. Menu. Yeah, if I'm correct, it should refill itself now. And if not, then we can quickly open the menu and have more made. Um. I think one of the cats just rushed by the door. Or something. No. Okay. I see. It, will it use up as much supply as possible, or...? Only what's needed to fit refilled. We can keep an eye on things. With, on the menu up there, 8 out of 8. Alright, in that way, that's good. Okay. Once that oh, hits 0, it should jump back up to 8. Yep, yeah, see? 8. I don't even know, know where I was to look. Yeah, the board's above Dave there. Oh, there! Yeah. I thought I had noticed those. <laughs> don't tell me so. <laughs> 20 oh, plus streams and you never noticed those before. Mostly because I've been so focused on the, the Patriots and Dave down here. I know that the bottles, I have noticed those. How I, I thought those planks were only decorative. <laughs> nope. <laughs> he already has that. Okay. And there we go. Okay, that that went basically perfectly, I think. And the music slows back down again. Let's see. 36. Oop. Okay, no record profits, but still very high profits. <laughs> Holy. And five out of five stars. Okay. Hmm. Now we can probably... We don't really need money anymore to at least up, up an even <laughs> another 26k from here. Hmm. We don't have any more upgrades to get. So, uh, I think. So we could start spending some more on upgrading uh, or upgrading ooh. our staff. Why are you here at this hour? We're closed now. Sorry for showing up so late, but it's an urgent matter. Let's go to the submarine first. It looks like Dave is not going to get in much sleep tonight. Falling star. What's going on, Mickey? There are strong spikes in Godzilla's brainwaves, and... And... Another giant object is headed this way. 
We're heading this way. Another kaiju. I'm not sure. It's currently heading towards Godzilla. Yeah, it's currently heading toward Godzilla at a high speed. I should go check on the situation. Dave, could you come with me? Me? Yes, it's difficult to navigate the blue hole, so I need a guide. And... And... No, it's nothing. Let's ride the submarine together. Stay behind me. So now we get to play around in our own mini-sub. Or are we just literally tagging along? Why did you stop? Well, there's something I need to tell you. The thing is, I have thalassophobia. Oh. Thalasso... what? Thalassophobia. It's a fear of the deep, dark ocean. Although I was able to overcome a lot through training, to be honest, I'm not sure if I can drive this submarine safely. Dave, would you mind piling to the submarine for me? What? <laughs> the submarine? Yes, it's not that difficult. It's similar to driving a car. Only in, uh, well, three dimensions. Well, except this one has a machine gun attached. <laughs> uh, this is too sudden for me. Don't worry, I'll be right next to you for instructions. Well, this is going to go just perfectly. But... Yeah, not a good idea, not a good thing to have someone who might have a panic attack at any moment at the wheel, especially with a machine gun involved. I adjusted your seat for more space. Are you comfortable? Yeah, this isn't as difficult as I thought. That's good to hear. Now let's go to where Godzilla was. Okay, so control is about the same, but of course a bit slower. There's, there's a lot more mass here. Oops. Well, I think I found. I think we found our other kaiju. Ibira. What was that? That's Ibira. It's a lobster-shaped kaiju. It had a fight with Godzilla on Lechi Island a long time ago. Maybe it's after Godzilla to get its revenge. Now that it's weaker. That thing is gigantic, and those claws are really scary too. If we don't stop it, that kaiju will tear Godzilla apart. But isn't Godzilla a bad kaiju that destroys cities? Not always. Godzilla is a creature that sometimes protects humans. Sometimes it's against humans, sometimes it's against other kaiju. That's all. I see. In any case, we must protect Godzilla from that Ibera kaiju. Am I right? Yes, we must get to Godzilla and wake it up before Ibera gets there. Good, then let's move. Yeah, Godzilla has been... Well, of course, of good and bad. Also, I like the shadow effects. The same way that, well, nuclear power has been both a good and a bad thing. Yeah. And it's noticed us. And it doesn't care. Ibira has noticed our presence. Mm. Let's move fa carefully, Dave. Yeah, I think Ibira has been, at times, I feel like, uh, for many people, like a yoke to Godzilla. Well, it was an easy fight. And they had only had one fight ever, no uh, rematches. Okay. Except as a uh, stock footage fight in one of the late movies. Yep. Okay, I was kind of expecting that. Oh dear, that was so close. I think it noticed that we're heading toward Godzilla. We're gonna face some fierce attacks. I'll leave it to you. What? Also, we're, this part is auto-scrolling. So we need to keep uh, moving. We can't take too long. Ow. Ow. This 
thing doesn't have a boost or anything like that. Oh dear. I, I gotta grab my food, so... Don't die. No promises. Oop. Here comes the big one. Yep, yep. Ah, really? Okay, at least it's not scrolling anymore. Hmm. Yeah, without a boost, I need to... I need to be more careful with movement. <laughs> okay, wide out in the open. No attack. Oop. Because he's over there. He... It's... The claw is blocking our paths. It's time to use the machine gun. Get that claw out of the way with the right trigger. And we're scrolling again. Okay, it definitely could have cut us in half there. Well, it almost did there. Okay, I don't see how we actually dodged that. We're in a current. If Ibira never had a re an official rematch with Godzilla, I guess it is getting it now. A great blocked the path. Beaver's pincer has blocked our path. I'm gonna have to use the machine gun for this. Okay. Okay, I guess it says something. We need to activate a torpedo. Torpedo? Yeah, we can clear the blocked path with it. Now. Okay, that's now active. Okay, at least Miki gained more than plenty prepared for this. Yes, the path is clear. Good. Now let's go that way. Okay. And I'm back. Welcome back. I'm so glad I have these headless headphones. Or wireless, I think you mean, because oh, yeah, headless wireless, headphones. I mean, wireless. <laughs> ah, crap. I knew it. No way it simply escaped. We have no choice at this rate. Let's defeat that kaiju. I think that's easier said than done. With your submarine piloting skills, we have a chance. Still a 1% chance, but a chance is a chance. It's time to return the favor to Godzilla for protecting us. Mm. Try using, using the torpedoes and the machine gun. <laughs> Ibera. Yeah, the only rematch that has been in other uh, eras, and of course, just the first of all, only stock footage uh, fights the same yeah. money, so. Wait, yeah. Dave. What's going on? Being a soldier in name, yet to just quietly sit back and do nothing would uh, be to neglect my duties. I, I won first place in my unit's Fix a Submarine Fast contest last year. Sounds like an interesting contest. If the submarine is damaged, press the A button and I'll fix it right away. Okay, so we have a heal mechanic. <clears throat> what are you going for with that? Oop. Okay, that one it just targets us, I think. Yep. Ow. Okay, another throw. Ah. Okay, I can't tell if that's specifically aiming for us or just going. Okay, that one is aiming for us. That's just an overhead slash that leaves its face wide open. Okay, also, I think I just is realized. This targeted? I may just realize yes. why we may be you know, fighting Ibira. Because we can't fight <laughs> Godzilla. 
Well, that too, and also beside the potential rematch, is that doubtful now? Tell me, Captain, what is a Bira? A lobster, aka something we can go kill and, if, and make dishes out of. I don't think we'd want uh, dishes made out of a Godzilla. Yeah. Uh. Missed the wide open shots there, but still got off a hit. Let's try and keep above. Now, up, try, let's try and keep above 50%. Overhead. That. Oh, the eyeballs are actually a target. Yep. And they do crit. They they take critical damage from that. Uh, okay, makes sense. But also feels like really a bit mean. But then again, it's trying to kill us. Now. Yeah, and it's very armored. So. Yeah. Makes sense to go for the eyes. Yeah. So how much damage are you going to take? And again, it's a freaking kaiju. Of course, it has like more health than an entire healthcare system. As I get it, with a one more shot, or more likely, we're just pissing it off. But yeah, only stage two. Same overhead, same wide open. Yep. Okay, it's adjust, it's adapting. Okay, so now, now, now we need to be careful with it lunging with its other uh, claw. Oop. Okay, what are? Oh. Okay, smart. That's a normal chuck. Okay, it's actually proving to be a challenge now. Yeah. Okay, overhead. Get that in. Okay, I, I like that we can repair, but it, whilst we're repairing, we're slowed and we can't attack. So a good little trade-off, I'd say. And it's better than trying to do this with a time limit. Okay, ow. I should not have turned. Okay. Going for the secondary. Oops, still got it in the eye there. <laughs> oh. Okay. Ooh, barely missed that. Um, you still have to repair, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, he's going for the scatter shots. At least those are easier to dodge separately. Just be on the move for that one. Same for that one. Okay. As long as it doesn't bring that other claw up. in normal yep.
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's going for the stab. And yeah, the, the, the torpedo charge goes up now when we're shooting. Yeah. Oh, scatter shot. Normal. Yeah, th th this fight is actually a decent challenge. Okay, overextend. Take a good look at that. Oh. Water pulse. Normal throw. Yep, water pulse. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Oh no, it, it ran away towards the surface. Is the thing toward land? People on the surface are in danger. Let's go back. Yeah, but typically the best you can hope for with these kaiju is to drive them off. Uh, this is not good. Dave, are you alright? There have been rumblings from the... There have been rumblings from the ground. Well, it was this big mobster... Uh, lobster monster. <laughs> mobster monster. <laughs> it's going to attack Godzilla. What are you even talking about? That's what we're talking about. Bounce is just looking out the window like, I can cook that. And he's heading straight for Bancho. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That thing is massive. It, it's heading toward Bancho Sushi. This is bad. We can't attack that thing with a submarine on the surface. This one's gonna cost us a massive repair bill. Cobra, not the time to be thinking about that. Yeah. Um. Good dude. Alright. Okay. that Godzilla? It seems to have fully recovered, but that burning body. It seems like the blue hole's power is causing Godzilla's energy to overload. It, it's heading towards Ibira. Is it trying to stop Ibira? No, it, some? Oh no, there was his tail. I thought there was some boat in the distance getting fucked over by the waves. Godzilla versus Ibira. Really? <laughs> we can... <laughs> it turns into a fighting game. <laughs> Use Godzilla's attacks to defeat the bear. Arm. Each attack has a different affinity. For example, the fan can block the strike attack, but is ineffective against the dash attack. Okay, so we need to figure out what he's doing. Okay, we need to identify what each attack is then. Oh yeah, it's rock, paper, scissors. Okay, that was his defense. Uh, hmm. That's the wrong attack. Oop. It's <laughs> barely not hit it. Okay. There we go. Now it's our turn. Bouncers in the background there, like sharpening his knives. Ow. Damn it. This is 
somewhat even so far. Okay, of course it takes time for him to actually do the moves and such. Hmm. Oh dear. Now our turn. That was... Okay, if he's reeling back like that... Then the fend won't work. Okay, we are winning this so far. Can we lure out an attack? There. Yeah. There we go. Oop. Oh, oh. Here we go. Rematch settled. Godzilla has defeated the Bira. Battle between G giant kaiju. I can't believe my own eyes. And with that, he pisses off again. Of <laughs> that particular cloud, apparently. <laughs> Thank goodness Godzilla fought off Iberia and left minimal damage. Mm -hmm. It seems the Blue Hole's power has also fully healed Godzilla's wound. Mm -hmm. It's all thanks to everyone's help. Mm -hmm. The G Force will continue to monitor Godzilla's movements. Mm -hmm. It's not much, but here's a gift to celebrate today's battle. <laughs> I think it'll be a good decoration for your boat. <laughs> mm -hmm. When did you have time to make that, or did you have that pre-made already? <laughs> Goodbye then. And hello in chat, Kanzaza. How are you doing today? Uh, they were with the Raiders. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but we must have missed you earlier then. Godzilla 1995 head. <laughs> and Godzilla and Chris. There are lots of things we don't know about in this world. I agree. But things are giant kaijus were hiding somewhere. Well, it's a good thing everything went well in the end. <laughs> By the way, I wonder if the restaurant took any damage from the massive shock. You're right, I'll go check it out. Uh, yeah, there were three missions listed to be in this DLC, not just two. Bunch is probably just salivating or trying to dig up Ibera's corpse to cook it. Uh, or the claw. Uh, yeah, pro the, the main body probably got well, way too much radiation from Godzilla's nuclear breath. Pancho, something huge happened right in front of the restaurant. Are you alright? The restaurant is safe. Good thing I made it earthquake resistant when I had repairs done. But still, that was one amazing battle. I know you've told me about giant undersea creatures before, but seeing them with my own eyes was a whole new experience. When I saw the incredible fights, it gave me the inspiration for some new dishes. Oh, are these new dishes related to Godzilla? Yes, I should write it down in case I forget it. Could you step aside for a bit? Oh. Oh. 
it's a little bit insulting, but okay. It's probably the closest to a fish you could find to Godzilla. It's three new recipes. Good, I think this will do. I came up with this on the fly, so the recipe might include ingredients we can't collect yet. Amazing, you can see all the intense moments we had from these dishes. I'll eat these every time I think back to this whole situation. Okay. That was a bit less of a, a mission, but let's see. What are these new ones? <clears throat> let's see. Are they in here somewhere? Yeah, they should be. Or are they in the research? Let's see. No, no new ones here, so I think they got put in the menu. Let's see. Do I have to be like the look for the newest? Uh, obtained, probably, yeah. Uh, let's see. Ibira chasing sashimi. <laughs> sashimi depicting the moment where the you know, submarine escaped from Ibira. The giant Ibira is made of California spiny lobster and the submarine is made of barrel eye. Okay. Then we have Godzilla vs. Ibira Curry. Curry depicting the fierce battle between Godzilla and Ibira. Godzilla is made of moray eel and Ibira is made of fried European lobster. Then we have Deep Sea Kaiju Ramen. A ramen dish depicting Godzilla lying in the deep sea. The cut seaweed resembles Godzilla and comb jelly was used instead of ordinary wheat noodles to add more flavor. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> interesting dishes, yeah? Let's see. 125. 185. Level 1. Grilled art... Yeah, Real Antarctic octopus and truffle. Hmm. Let's see. There's just a bunch of these. Okay. Hmm. I was expecting things oh. to go a bit longer than that, like maybe dig up that claw, but yeah. apparently not. Hmm. Unless uh, it will become a thing? Hmm. Yeah, the, to call this last bit a mission is a bit of a stretch, I'd say. Uh, all the farming stuff. <laughs> hmm. So maybe we can find it, maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, still a well, nice, still a nice little thing. Yeah, for, I wouldn't be surprised if it been a survive in sense. Lobsters, if I run and crabs, I run right. Can regroup the arms. Okay, just a bunch of stuff of that. Okay. Fish farm. <clears throat> hmm. One thing, one thing I could maybe try with some of these is to uh, clear out all the ones that I don't uh, need to get the higher ranked uh, dishes, or at least the ones that have a chance of reaching the 375 uh, taste and then just le basically leaving them be until we have enough in here but then we'd have to go catch just a fuck ton of these again hmm. maybe hmm if, if these two aren't for added for anything for any new areas, then I maybe they could be uh, used for specific breeding, like putting a, one specific uh, species in there to let them well go at it. Uh, maybe though. I am though. Hmm. Okay, but I think about it, it makes, makes sense to not have the, these two assigned to uh, crossover DLCs. Hmm. So, yeah, we'll see if they ever do get used. The fact that they are there kind of forces the developers to eventually make something there because, well, they put it in there, so it's a bit of an unspoken promise to do something with them. Let's see, all of these are maxed. 
Let's see. Oh, look. Yeah, you can collect fish actually to catch fish. If there's a fish you'd like to keep, it'll help to catch many of that fish. Hmm. So yeah, maybe I'll clean out some of these of the smaller fish that we have just an absolute fuck ton of. Can we... I think I talked about this as a possible thing to maybe let us see how, my, how, yeah, how much we have of certain these already in storage. Hmm. Uh, I think it said 77. Oh, you meant in the bar? Uh... Yeah, not the total okay. fish in here, but the one like with these cardinal fish, if I could see how much meat of that we already have in storage. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that would be helpful. Let's be honest, a lot of these easier fish... Oops. Okay, that sounded like there's a bit of a burst on the headset for me. Hmm. Let's see, and then we're back to normal. Let's see. <laughs> we can even just put a freaking figurehead on there. How did she fit that in her submarine? <laughs> Question. Also, I just realized something. Hmm? Bond just said... Something new dish may require ingredients we haven't required yet. Re acquired yet. Uh, yeah, ba <clears throat> uh, If I read things correctly, this DLC becomes available after Chapter 5 or such. Oh, hello, we have a... All right. We have an event incoming, apparently. I completely missed that. Let's see. Mail. Marlin party. Okay. <clears throat> I think we've read this before. Okay. And yes, these are about every five days or so from the looks of it. 11, 16, 21. Hmm. Let's see. Let's try training up some of our people a bit more. All right. Yes, we... Yeah, I should check if there's anything in the eye diver app to upgrade. There probably isn't, but better to be sure. Yep, everything is max upgraded. So the only thing we really have to spend money on is our staff. <clears throat> so yeah, let's just train them up a bunch. And yeah, these little animations have been improved. Oh. He has an idea for Gordon <laughs> Ramsay. <laughs> Fried what? onion cuttlefish. Okay, I don't know who that is supposed to be. <laughs> it's fucking raw. Wait, wait, why is it called an eggplant? Not a clue. <laughs> okay. We can't afford to upgrade him further than this. But one more night and we'll have our first... Well, <laughs> yeah, we should make enough from that. Okay. Uh, details. Hmm. Maybe one thing that would also be nice as a little quality of life thing is that you can get to see how much you pay, how much you pay someone in their details. And in general, it is easy. It is very easy to keep ahead of the costs, but to have a little bit more of a specific look at how much you know, someone uh, gets paid and such would also be nice. Yeah, let's see, 16,000 expenditure, 120. <laughs> uh, oh, that's over multiple days. <clears throat> <laughs> really, we have 333 more eel. Okay. This is daily. 40k sales. 4k expenditure. Okay. Oh. Um, okay, that's the dishes. That's the... Hmm. 
Okay, I guess we through this we could be more specific with looking up stuff. We can still upgrade this further, but we are a bit short on Titan Triggerfish for that. Hmm. Plus, I don't think we can get uh, 370 with this. Unless... Let's see, how much? Yes. <clears throat> 24 it jumps by. So yeah, that's not going to hit 380. Still very profitable. Oh, yep. Okay. <laughs> Only level 3 and it's already 1,200. Okay. It is one serving each, though. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we should still be plenty good with just keeping the place running. Hmm. We'll see how much Raptor costs now. Well when we run the place tonight. And for now... Uh, we've only been at it an hour and a half and we're already done with the DLC. I, so. I hope that wasn't it. Right, let's head but to the sea, people. Uh, did you pay for the DLC? Yeah, it is free. Okay. Then, uh, okay, then uh, you weren't sure to expect too much, then. Yeah. Honestly, since they probably had to pay for the license and such, it, <clears throat> they, pro it, they probably could have uh, asked for money for it. Is anything new here? No, we still just need to kill two of those things. Or a second of those, more specifically. Otherwise, they, maybe they were not allowed to. Otherwise, they have to share a percentage of something there, since... Probably. Uh... There and there. Okay. There, there, there. Okay. Let's focus on level. Wait. Since when do these have levels? Either way. There. Okay, let's work our way back up towards the surface and see if we can catch anything we specifically need. And mm, I don't want to. I don't want to go on with this too much because a lot of the game, a lot of what drives with the game is just the story and such. And we have done most of the uh, collectible stuff and such. Also, let's quickly jump in here, because it has been a bit since we've uh, seen this animation. Yeah. I was expecting more, but it was a free DLC that's only available for a limited time. I guess one shouldn't expect too much. Yeah. Again, I'm presuming that the reason for it being temporarily available or for acquisition is because of the license. You know, they they don't want to spend too much on just having that up permanently. Because then they would have to, well, constantly be paying out for the license. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Any of these that we are short on. Nope, nothing in the depths that we are short on. Anything specific that we want? Hmm. Cookie cutter sharks, maybe. Since those are part of our main dish. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find any cookie cutters. And just head upwards. Maybe we can find the limestone caves. <clears throat> Something I just thought of. Maybe... What if we put down a crab trap and leave the water? Would it 
still be there when we return the next dive or the next day? Likely not, Probably. considering the in store of it keeps changing. True. Got you, little bitch. Okay, that. <clears throat> uh, if it's too early to end it, even. Yeah. Like, sure, we can still do Minecraft, but. I would normally I would say that we might do a, a second stream then tonight, but yeah, new job tomorrow. Even though I'm not expecting to stick around with it, but yeah, yeah we'll have to see. Yeah, I, <laughs> we talked about it before stream. They already see some red flags, red flags of incompetence. Yeah, it's like for the second day, they expect me to travel like an hour and a half to a location. So, yeah, yeah no. And you have to uh, tell people on see what kind of job it is to begin with. Yeah, it's just simple cleaning. Like, not like, uh, <clears throat> or more accurately put, perhaps, it's office cleaning. So, not like hotels or such. Uh, but yeah, more like just... <clears throat> uh, desk job cleaning and such. But, yeah, then, yeah. Then you... Uh, then it makes even less sense for them to send you two hour driving there and two hour driving back. Yeah. Total four hours. Come on. There. And, uh, and then a lot of counting how long time it may take to clean it. Yeah, the, the work hours are expected to be seven hours a day, it seems. They have not been told anything about the max amount of days possible. <clears throat> and, well, nothing about just, yeah, nothing about the uh, per hour pay. So, yeah, I'm not expecting to last. Yeah, I'm not expecting to last a month there. <clears throat> yeah, like, again, just wait. Just the gas money is wasteful. Like no, normally, normally when people want something clean, they, they ask a very local cleaning service. Yeah. Thank so you. I, I don't know what the heck happened. It, it, it's some office for two hours away who decided to hire them, or did they, the one you're going to work with, decide to offer their services to those? two hours away like someone should have said no on one or the other side here yeah like, i i've been told i i think i've been told that there was the possibility that at times there would be some crowd but not like two freaking hours yeah that's yeah. just like the Here's the thing, if there's one more, not even the most people, besides it's a waste of, well, gas money, everything, like, you're spending two hours to go there to clean. Yeah. Seven hours work there, and then another two hours just to get fucking home. It's in an hour, it's an 11 hour work day. It's, you can say what you want, if you're... If work expects you to travel long distance, then travel is uh, is part of the workday. Yeah. What's the... Okay. Uh, it's for now. Yep. Really? <laughs> okay, I'll grab these just uh, for the shits and giggles of it. Normally when I hear about services like these, they usually hear such, but they gladly move into a village or small town outside it. If it's like a half an hour away or something. But two hours? Just what the heck? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Not holding high expectations. I've already told some people about that. So maybe someone just fucked up or something. But we'll see. I, I, I need a job, of course, but I'm not that freaking desperate. Yeah. Plus, there's the chance that if it doesn't pay well enough, it it could endanger my social security. Yeah. Since, well, this the way social security is, you know, yeah, social security payments are done here is that they are based, they are a percentage of your previous salary. So yeah, if it, if they just give me a crap salary, then yeah, I could end up with a whole lot less in social security. Uh. But yeah, again, enough on that. Let's just see if we can find the limestone caves. Though I don't think we will. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I think I just really need a freaking drink to deal with my throat. It, did you refill in water? Uh, actually, I think I completely forgot my water bottle. But that may explain it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Any chance for the limestone caves to be over this way? Ow. just a small limestone area, not the actual caves, I think. I'll take that. Yeah. Mm. Get other parts. Mm. Yeah, the DLC was nice, but just the small amount of it, I... I do have to admit that is a bit disappointing. Yeah. Here uh, yeah, we were ready for a bit more, but still. Uh, Again, it's free, though. So. Yeah, so this way to complain too much about it. Yeah. A visit more fever. Overly pre over prepared, I guess you could say. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think we were with when we started again for the <clears throat> for the Dredge DLC as well. How, how did that miss? Yeah. Dude, that one you had to pay for. Uh, that one we were a bit unsure if the price was justified or not. I uh, don't actually remember if it was paid or not. So I'm getting these out of the way. I can check in a second once this dive is over. Oh, bloody heck. I'm trying to figure out what else to do. Like, they, I like every diver, but... Yeah, too much of a good thing and all that. Yeah, and also... No, no story? Like, I, I expect it to take a bit longer and maybe have a chance to see if there's any more story with the... Uh... Dredge DLC, but mm. yeah, doesn't look like it. Oh uh, well. For now, yeah, there's not anyway. really much else to do here other than to just gather more resources. Mm. We are soon hitting two hour mark. Yeah, return to boats. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really trying to figure out if you should just go a bit Minecraft, Slime Branch, or what? I forgot to put those two away, but oh well. Uh, slime Branch hasn't had a big update recently, so not there either. we just be grinding for money, which basically... Oh, hello. Oh, Mickey, did you go back? Did you go back safely? 
Yes, but <sighs> I think I accidentally dropped the kaiju figures I had for research into the ocean. Kaiju figurines? Mm -hmm. I think they were in a box that looks like this. Mm. If you happen to find them, could you retrieve them for me? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, if I see them, I'll pick them up and let you know. <laughs> Thank you. And allow me to install an app for you. Mm. The figurines you recover can be seen in the app. Then you can check the information for each kaiju. Mm. I wish you the best of luck. I'll contact you again once you've retrieved them all. Okay. <laughs> okay. Find the G-Forces kaiju figurines scattered across the blue hole and check their live-action photos, uh, descriptions, and roar sound effects. Okay. And we can... Ca she's been added as a... Okay, that is, that is something that... Uh, it's a side quest. There's 20 of them. But, yeah, that, that that definitely counts more as a mission than just go to Boncho. And hello, this, the merchant is over there. Yeah. Though, I don't expect too much of, of it be a story, unless... Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Again, this guy. Secret recipe. Let's see. Sushi filled with fish meat and wrapped in bladder rack. It tastes as fresh as fresh can be. Okay. And then just a bunch of these. We are low on truffles, but those are very expensive. Actually, isn't he the only way to get truffles? I forget. I think he is, yeah. Um, yeah, I think <clears throat> so. Okay. <clears throat> Hmm. And let's at least go look for one of those figurines. And at least we can see just how some of them look, perhaps. I'm going to presume they'll just be scattered all over the place. And, yep. We haven't heard from Ellie in a long-ass time. But also, Lois is still looking angry here. <laughs> Let's see, Marinka. Oh, something in the, here. Okay, something must have been upgraded here. Oh, oh the filled shark. Okay. And then one upgraded seahorse, tiger tail seahorse. Okay. And yeah, further nothing new there. Like, how is the weather actually? Okay, so it doesn't say anything about the night time, though. <clears throat> then again, I think it... Actually, I think with the Dredge DLC, it was that the fog will pour in during the day. So, yeah, there won't be another Dredge day for quite a while. Yeah, I, I think I think with the Dredge DLC, there won't be any story except for a little intro. And hello there, down there. Kaiju Index, Godzilla, Ibera... <clears throat> it's a bunch more Mothra, another version of Godzilla, I'm guessing. Yeah, the three-headed one. Okay, there's a you know bunch more that I do not know. Hmm. Okay, let's go look for at least one of them. <clears throat> okay, but yeah, we. We basically ground this game for as far as it really can without going, well, full time with it. I... <clears throat> so yeah, for the next time that we stream this game, we'll probably wait for a bit more substantiated, substantive <clears throat> DLC. Yeah. Um, okay. I did, but I'm, I'm a bit unsure of this one. Mm. More Titanfall? Mm. Again, even I am a bit unsure. Yeah, we are in we are in the third act of that game, so we could be able to finish up in two to three hours. But not immediately after this, I would say. Yeah, like had we finished this an hour ago? Oh, uh, yeah, actually about, uh, about 50 minutes ago. 
Yeah, maybe, but uh, mm. yeah, let's yeah, leave it I'll... to maybe, and we'll see. I'd still yeah, rather yeah. not risk potentially oversleeping for tomorrow, but yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I was just. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would not suggest you do it in the evening. Too. I was thinking of uh, just switching over, but uh, just two hours of that. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and then we risk just running short towards the end of it, anyways. So I'd like yeah. to be, I'd like to be extra certain that we have enough time for that then. Yeah. Again. As I said, I was unsure myself here. I need to get you to see if, if you approved it or not. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. yeah. After, after we are done here, I say we call it. Maybe we'll do something tonight, but I'd give it only a low chance. Yeah. And um, here's the thing. If we, if we do stream tonight, it's definitely be around the, yeah, you know, this 1900 mark. Yeah, 7 p.m. That is yeah. if dinner doesn't get in the way. Yeah. If we can stream that early, then maybe we stream something. Okay, 1965 Godzilla. So original Godzilla. Now again, it's a maybe, but then I guess it would be a good idea to... Uh, oh... Would ending the stream at 9 be a good idea then? Maybe. Again, just a low chance, like 40%, I'd say, at even doing it. So, yeah, not going to put up high hopes for anyone for that. Yeah. Oh, bloody mm. heck. If we're able to stream at 6, maybe we could do Titan Quest? Uh, not Titan Quest, no. Titan Fall. Titan Quest 2 isn't out yet. <laughs> it is in development from what I hear, but it's not been released. Oh, right. But yeah. I guess we could do Titan Fall if we were able to do stream at 6, but ain't that usually when you uh, go and yeah. eat. Yeah, at this point, I don't think it's there's too much value in trying to think this over because yeah, yeah, it's just a small chance of it happening. Yeah, if it happens, it happens. Yeah, if not, then well, we have month, we have uh, Borderlands two hopefully on Monday. If not, then we have uh, <clears throat> Battle for Middle Earth two on Monday, not not there, yeah, Tuesday, the. Okay. Ah. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to presume that the figurines have a chance of uh, spawning just about anywhere at random. Maybe there is a limit to the amount per you can get per dive or something. Have you just given me an idea? Maybe an early start of Battle Middle Earth uh, this evening. Mm. Again, Again the, big the, the chance of a stream is already low, so... Probably not best to try and get hopes up. Yeah. Again, I just speak one of these, but I'm very unsure. Like... Two hours is at least a start, but... Yeah. I'd prefer going for three. Yeah. Same, I, I get... Have it to be done with this DLC an hour earlier? Like, just only, only one out into the stream? And I could see easily as done with Titanfall or... Lord of the Rings 2, out of my love. But... Now, yeah. 
happen. Yeah, yeah nice I, DLC, I, I, but just uh, still a bit disappointing with uh, how the small amount of content there proved to be. Yeah, again, it was free, but expected at least two, three hours at least. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I guess that's. Yes, that teaches us the lesson again. Fair. Next time that we stream this, we just wait for a bit more sub substance to it. Yeah. A bit of it was actually the idea, though. I think we expected more from this one by mistake. Yeah. I, I, when it said three missions, I didn't think it would go through them so quickly. Okay. Uh, let's head back. We'll do the evening, and then we'll call it. <clears throat> okay, phone. Let's have a little look here. Let's see. <laughs> okay, it's the silly dance Godzilla. Let's see. 50 meters invasion of Astro Monster, 1965. Yeah, not the original then. Uh, a lightning strike awoke Godzilla from his ancient uh, slumber in a cave on Lechi Island in the South Pacific. Godzilla fought against the local sea uh, kaiju Ibira, the tool of the Red Bamboo, who operated in a secret base on Lechi. Okay, so this, this is the this is the version that we uh, encountered, or maybe no, uh, we encountered the, the one high up, but that version was indeed the one that fought Ibira. Okay. Uh, let's see, nothing else here, I believe. Okay. Research. We have yeah, fried on onion cuttlefish, deep fried cuttlefish and onion. You won't be able to stop once you get a taste of the crunchy, moist and wet uh, uh, sweet onion coupled with chewy and salty cuttlefish. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, send our people out to get, what was the dish again? Uh, let's see. Tastes. Um, which one was it again? Or is, do we not have enough to serve it? Hmm. Yes. Uh, these are the special ones. Let's see. Those are. Hmm. Where is that one that we could likely get upgrade? That this that we could likely upgrade to. Not this one, olive oil. Hmm. Not that one was either. It, was it not the hammerhead? It was a dish of some. Uh, let's see. Obtained. Let's see. Moonlight bladder rack roll. Excuse me. Yep. Seen that before. Uh, let's see. It was one. At this one it was, with the Atlantic Anglerfish. So, yeah, soy sauce we need to go get. Okay. Dispatch, soy sauce, every freaking one of you. Okay. And, yeah. I think we should be good with ingredients on both locations. So, price. Not going to serve that yet, since we need it. Well, <laughs> we need it for uh, upgrading. Auto supply, yes. Okay. Actually, one more thing. We don't have enough to enhance it. It's a Titan trigger fish that we need for this, not cookie sharks. Okay. Or not cookie cutter sharks. And uh, yeah, we have plenty of that. So we should be good. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this night, and then we'll call it at about two hours. Mm. <laughs> okay, now he's really zooming. <laughs> Yeah, there's absolutely no need to train your staff up to level 20. There. 
there. Running like a they're running around like a freaking athlete. Yeah, but just okay. Someone left angry there because there wasn't no, no clean spot. But oh well. Okay, but one out of thirty-six is good, I'd say. And yeah, we only missed one because typically, otherwise we'd be left with only four left. Because we can only make that dish in eight, so we could make it to 40. 36 people show up. Uh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we had that happen before where it hangs a little bit. Okay. Okay. Our expenses didn't actually rise that much, but yeah, we did miss out on one sale. Let's see. Oh, okay. They, they didn't have enough so for the main dish. Okay. <laughs> That's my bad. Hmm. Oh, well. Um... Yeah, the farm reports. Okay. Um, let's head on over. We should still have... Do, actually, do we have enough to upgrade the uh, Raptor to the level 20? I think we're actually short. I think it was 99. Let's I think see. less. Or am I misreading? Yeah, 99. Oh. Okay, well, there is one way we can solve that. And that's by just selling a fuck ton of the excess meat. There. I would say we probably could uh, otherwise just wait the next time we stream it. Actually, price. Let's see. Any of this? We have a lot of this. Yeah, still not too there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this might this might take getting selling quite a lot still. Um, yeah. Actually, yeah, I say we can uh, s save it. Yeah, we can get there with a few more of these really high numbers. So there. And some some of these Arctic cards. Okay, and some of these little shits, which I keep for mistaking for the other. Okay, there, Raptor, training, and achievement leadership. Trained employee to level twenty. Okay. <clears throat> But yeah, that'll do then. So, settings. Da, 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 da. Save. Uh, yeah, <laughs> two logos now for both of the DLCs. Okay. Return and save. We're save and return to title. And yeah, that's where we'll leave Dave the Diver again. And yeah, this time we are definitely waiting for us. Some, for just a much bigger DLC or expansion before we continue with this game. Because it is nice and all it is fully enjoyable, but we are at the point where we've basically done everything except for one last thing, which will require a lot of grinding to do. And I'd rather not subject everyone to, that, you know, that, to just that for who knows how long. Yeah, <clears throat> and it's the story, like the gameplay is fine and all. It is good. But it's the like story really that really adds the flavor to it, uh, metaphorically speaking. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe I will do what I said to just clean out the uh, fish tanks or the fish farm of all that we need, all except for what we need for uh, 
for the dishes that can reach 375 in a taste. And just let those breed and mass until I have enough to upgrade them fully. But if I do that, it's going to be off stream. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I think, I think I agree with you. We just wait. Like, yeah. If it's just another crossover, as if it's free, then we just wait. But if there's an actual story DLC, yeah, then <laughs> we will strike. Possibly. Uh, yeah. For now, though, let's go look for someone to raid before we end the stream. And there's not actually many people online at the moment. We have Moonrise with Jackbox, Horatius the Dwarf with Elden Ring, Jarvis the Moonseal with World of Warcraft, Corridust with Overwatch 2, and K9 with V Rising. Uh, on Overwatch 2, actually, I heard it. I heard that there is a uh, a new hero shooter, competitive hero shooter game, Marvel Rivals, that's in beta at the moment. And from what I've been hearing, yeah, people have been <laughs> preferring that over Overwatch. Yeah, but I think I've heard people not liking that one either. Hmm. So it's not seeing much. Perhaps. Uh, let's see. Any of those sound interesting, or should we look at some of the recommended? So, actually, I'm already looking there. Uh, Killer Clowns. Uh, I, I will let you pick. Let's see, there's someone here called Dr. Alexander Clark, who is playing Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. Let's see. Strategy games with a naval historian. How bad will... <laughs> okay. The rest is cut off. So, let's take a peek here. Okay, it's one of these uh, the uh, where you don't actually control the ships themselves, but steer them around or such. Um, let's see. Who else? Who else? I think it's been a while since we've seen the spider. So let's go raid them. All right. Okay. There and there. Okay. Slash raid and paste. Okay, but before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, uh, anime fan. Thank you for the, thank you for the raid as well. Thank you, Khan Zaza. And let's see, anyone else who came along with the raid as well, of course. And I see Marco is lurking in chat. <laughs> Other names there I don't recognize. Uh, but yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I will check any names I don't know against the list of named bots. No offense meant, but it's just that Twitch is just absolutely infested with the things. So I'd rather, well, keep the list clean of them. <clears throat> and yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching. And yeah. Uh, tomorrow, maybe Borderlands 2, depending on if uh, <clears throat> Rom, Liz and Hex are available. Otherwise, I'll likely see anyone who will show up on Tuesday for Battle of Miller 2. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, until then, let's get it right started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. Uh, I, I really forgot my... Until night, but, then. But until then... Uh, yeah, but until then, have a nice day. And yeah, <laughs> How did I freaking forget? I'll have to look back on my one of my old videos for this. But uh, either way, thank you all for, uh, for watching. And until next time, have a good day. And yeah, until then. <laughs> yeah, be safe, everyone. Be safe. And watch out for undead seagulls. And Godzilla. Though it's yeah, easy <laughs> to spot. Yeah. <laughs>